Hello and welcome fellow bookworms and film fans. Welcome to this week's episode of The Contented Narrative. We are looking at The Windsor Knot by S.J. Bennett. Now I have had this book for quite some time and I only just got round to reading it um, on the Jubilee weekend because I thought, you know what, it's about the Her Majesty the Queen investigating a murder, so why would I not read it on the Jubilee weekend? And honestly I was surprised because you're, you're kind of sat there wondering how would the Queen investigate a murder? Like, how would she go about it? She wouldn't be able to just go in and question people. Could you imagine, like, being a witness um, and being questioned by the Queen? But she, honestly, the, the way that it's written is so beautifully done. It's honestly brilliant. So basically, um, there was a murder that happened. And at first they thought it was something that had happened by accident. So it was like an accidental suicide. Um, and then it came out that it was a murder. Um, and then it's sort of like at one point it's going down oh one of your um one of your staff is like a russian spy um and the queen sat there going none of my staff are a russian spy so let's try and solve out who actually killed this this poor uh, young russian pianist and honestly the twists and the turns that it takes i was sat there going wait how did she get from here to here and obviously i know it's not the actual queen it's sj bennett writing as the queen but it was genuinely, it was delightful. I think it, I like to think that it, it stuck to what the Queen would do if she was in that situation. Um, and I'm not going to tell you how, you know, what who, who the murderer is or anything like that. But the way that she plays the people without them realising they've got played. So she'll, she'll pull someone aside and go, oh, um, so I heard about this. So I was just wondering, you know, so there's no, you know, there's nothing coming back to us. Um, I heard that she was found with cocaine and um, when she died i hope the drugs weren't done at the palace and so this guy goes away to check if this person was doing drugs at the palace and then it's like oh hang on a minute and then it that leads to something else and then like it's just it's genius because you sat there going this is exactly what because i love i love the detective novels and i love them when they're just sort of like the, the main person that's investigating the crime does the whole big reveal and this is how it's worked and this is who killed who and you know like that and sometimes like, I love reading Sherlock Holmes, but, you know, because he's like, oh, so obviously, Watson, this is what's happened. And, and it's little minute things that you wouldn't normally pick up on. But what I love so much about this is it's the Queen, our Royal Majesty, who is a absolute godsend to this country. She is such a sweetheart. Um, but it's, it's the Queen who's going about her royal duties, and I think it's quite well exp explained I, obviously you don't know exactly what the queen's doing day in day out but it's like oh she's meeting with this pr prime minister oh the obamas are coming to visit oh you know we've got this celebration going on this weekend but it's also showing her with a softer side which we do know she has we've seen in pictures and everything um and it's you know showing her interactions with that it's also showing her interactions with her staff um and i think it brings a nice light to to a very like old genre it brings like a new fresh light to it because the detective she's pointing everyone in the right direction but she's not actually technically going and questioning these people herself or, or chasing up this or checking on this because she can't she's the queen um so she employs the help of um you know some someone within the household that she thinks she can trust and it's quite funny because there's literally a chapter where it goes so this this woman um who solves the who helps her solve the murder um her predecessor says look you know when the queen starts asking you to do something and you're not entirely sure why she's asking it and you can't be th you can't go to so and so you know go to this person and they'll explain and it happens and she goes to that person and that person's like so the queen's been solving murder mysteries uh, and just mysteries in fact just it, it's just the queen investigates it's not even a you know a murder mystery all the time the queen's been investigating mysteries for years um but she never takes credit for it because she can't she's the queen and it just honestly it was just so delightful to just like read a chapter and then be like oh like she's very very clever so i love the way it's written i love the way the story plays out i love the plot interceding with each other i definitely feel like i'm i'm going to be reading another one of these um i do have a lot of books to read so it probably won't be top priority but a hundred percent i would recommend reading the winds or not i think it was just a fresh perspective on a old genre and again nothing against the detective genre i love the detective genre 
you know that's the majority of what I read is the detective genre um, although I am branching out now thanks to the Facebook group but please uh, borrow it from the library Kindle any way that you want to read this book read it if you want to borrow it from me I'm more than happy to lend it out um, if you enjoy it please leave it below in the comments if you don't enjoy it please again leave it below in the comments if there's any books that you want me to review as well I am more than happy to do so and um, I do film a lot of them all at once uh, and I do I, I am constantly reading so if you ask me it probably won't come out for a couple of months at least because you know I, I film way in advance but leave it below in the comments just let me know what you think um, Thank you so much for your continued support and don't forget that I am on Instagram and Facebook as well as the contented narrative. So if you want to join those so you're sort of alerted when things come out or if you want to click subscribe so you're alerted when the next video comes out, um, just let me know. And thank you very much for uh, everything and all the views and remember to always keep it contento.